I can now lower my tailgate. I can access the drawers in my truck. No obstructions. The same is true with my Jeep Wrangler. It allows me to open the lift gate. So they say necessity is the mother of invention. Well, we're gonna test that out today. Um, welcome to DIY Outdoor Life, I'm Brian. Today we are going to be replacing the tongue jack on my Bushwhacker camper. Now this guy just failed on my last camping trip. I actually had to pick the camper up and put it onto the tow vehicle to get the thing home. Um, there's a certain portion in the travel that seems to be stripped out. There's metal filings uh, that are forming in the, the shoe at the bottom. So we're gonna figure out how to fix this today because I have another trip coming up. And since I'm taking it out, I ordered an extra item on Amazon and we'll see if you like that too. So this tongue jack has two functions, right? It lifts the trailer up and down, but it also stabilizes the trailer. There's no front stabilizers on these teardrops. So I felt like it's always been a little light duty, but mine stripped out last week at the same time as my friend Bob. Uh, Bob has a YouTube channel, Bob's Next Adventure. He lives full time in his Bushwhacker trailer. So if you like this channel, you're probably gonna like that channel. So do check out Bob's Next Adventure. But his tongue jack stripped out the same way as mine. Neither of us have been able to service it and put it back together. So we both had to purchase new jacks. Since I was taking mine off anyway, I figured I'd get another device that my friend Mike P from the Bushwhacker Forum has been uh, telling us about there. I'm gonna check that out today for you too. We're gonna do an install and a review, so check it out. Okay folks, so if this happened to you or you'd like to prevent it from happening to you, it's a really easy swap. I went with a Kurt tongue jack. I bought it off Amazon. I'll put the link as always in the drop down description below. It's a much higher quality jack. It's gonna fit in the same place, it's three bolt, but you can feel that it's much heavier. It's gonna do a better job lifting and lowering the trailer, but when we're stabilizing the trailer with this jack, I'm hoping to see if I can get a little better stability um, when the tongue is high off the ground. So we'll check it out. First thing we're gonna do is remove these three bolts. They go into a threaded pocket that's welded into the tongue. There's no nuts behind this. So all I have to do is back these three out with a ratchet. Now you're gonna save these three bolts. If they're in good shape, we're gonna reuse these. If they're not in good shape, bring, to, bring them to the hardware store and get three new ones. With these out, this jack is just gonna lift out. This job is literally this simple. Now take this thing and bring it to a medical, metal recycling center. If you're like me, you're gonna put this on a shelf even though it doesn't work. And when your kids have to deal with your estate, they can bring it to a metal <laughs> recycling center. <laughs> Now, if you want to just do a simple replacement, the new one literally drops in, the holes line up, and you put the bolts back down to their snug. This is like a three minute job. You can also get this to line up so that it cranks from the side. If that's convenient for you, just make sure it clears anything you have. This one for me would just clear the propane tank, but we're going to solve this problem a different way. So the product that I'm gonna use is called a Jackie Up. I'm not sponsored by this company. I'm not sponsored by anybody. But my buddy Mike P used one of these on the Bushwhacker forum and he had a lot of success. So I'm gonna try it out too. Now I usually like to beat things to death before I review them on the channel. So I'm gonna show you how to install this, but I've never used this before. So it looks like a really solid piece of metal. I'm not sure what could go wrong with it, but I'll circle back in a couple months to let you know if this thing held up. For today, let's install it. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove these three nuts that hold this plate inside the jackie up. They have a lock washer, or actually rather a locking nut and a regular washer. Now 
Now this plate is going to be removed and we're gonna store this to the side somewhere where you're sure to lose it. This device is what goes on where your jack was. So it appears there is different holes that we can line up. And for mine, they're making sure that jacky up is facing uh, nice and straight. And what we're gonna do is just install the three nuts and washers, uh, the three bolts and washers that held on the broken jack. These are in good shape, so I'm gonna reuse them. I am gonna use a socket extension to clear the housing of the jacky up. Now this plate threads up through the bottom and you're gonna bolt it back on with the bolts that you took off with your jackie up. Now I've seen people thread it through the top, but it's not gonna work like that on mine. So I'm gonna slide in through the bottom and bolt this section together. Washer goes on first and your lock nut goes on last. To tighten these guys off, you need a box wrench or two ratchets. You're gonna have to come in on both sides. There's a little barbed lock nut. So when you snug these down, they won't back off. You can show everyone that Ripple's trying to help. Ripple tries to help, but she seldom succeeds. Okay, folks, we're done. Your jack now is removable. You can store this on your tongue. You can put it in the vehicle. I, saw, I see some people make stands for it, but when it's time to lift the jack to level your trailer, this is going to slide in, turn, and now you can lift your jack. Now look, when the jack makes contact with the ground, you can install your sand plate, you can install a wheel. It raises to the top of this housing and provides what's supposed to be a very stable platform. When it's time to leave, you let your trailer down like you always do, turn it a quarter turn, and this comes out. Now why in the world would I wanna do that? Well, for one, I can now lower my tailgate. I can access the drawers in my truck. No obstructions. The same is true with my Jeep Wrangler. It allows me to open the lift gate. Now some of you have Subarus and different things that the jack bangs up against. This does solve a pretty annoying problem but the one that I'm actually gonna benefit from the most. If you watched my video on mooch docking, when I bottom my trailer out, I bottom it out on this tongue jack. The trailer has excellent clearance, but when the vehicle and the trailer are moving independent, like when you're going through a gully, you end up smashing this tongue jack on the ground. If you hit it once and you bend it, it never works right again. So this is a really handy, handy gadget, and I'm excited to tell you how it works out after I've used it for a while, but it's pretty solid. I don't see much that can go wrong. Now uh, back that camera up, and we'll wrap this up. I will put a playlist for um, all of the modifications I do on this trailer. I'll put a playlist for the maintenance tips that I do on this specific trailer. A subscribe button can go up here. Thank you so much for watching. If I saved you a couple bucks today or helped you out, go to the link below and buy me a coffee. I really, really appreciate it. It's an unmonetized channel and we'll use those funds to make vet better videos. Check out Bob's next adventure. And thanks Mike P for the tip on this great device. See you next time.